Hi my loves, welcome to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I received is miserable sometimes. The scripture comes from Habakkuk 2, 18 through 19. Of what value is an idol carved by a craftsman or an image that teaches lies? For the one who makes it trusts into his own creation. <laughs> he makes idols that cannot speak. Woe to him who says to wood, come to life. Or to lifeless stone, wake up. Can it give guidance? It is covered with gold and silver. There is no breath in it. Mm. I feel like God is just going in on these idols, on these false gods, and on the people that are, you know, worshiping them. And I feel like God is saying that this is something that brings misery. It's something that brings uh madness i hear god saying and i feel like when god is saying madness he's saying like crazy like for real just when you even think of it and this is coming from somebody i had my spat back in the day where i was um getting into this and i was i even have a video about it about how um i used to work i used to uh i used to practice but it came a time when I realized that it was wrong. And when I realized it was wrong, I came back to God and I prayed to God. And God sent me to a scripture where he um, said, why would you ever want to turn away from the peace and the simplicity of Jesus Christ? And the thing about these false idols, the thing about these false gods, the thing about um, worshiping them is they were created by God. Like they literally were created by God. Their whole purpose was to come to earth and watch over us. And they talked amongst themselves and decided that they would come down here, marry women, make kids and be worshiped as gods. And that is why God has punished them. God sent Archangel Michael and amongst other angels down here to uh, seek war against them. They put them down into the pits of hell, locked them away in a cage. And even if you were to practice this, okay, for those that know, in order for these spirits to even come into our realm, to come to earth, you have to call on a certain spirit to unlock the gate and let them out the gate so that they can come up there and talk to you. Anytime that they come up there, they bring a nasty, dirty energy. They are angry. They are upset. They are mad about the situation they are in. They are mad that nothing can be fixed about that situation. God said they will never see heaven again. Never, never, never. It doesn't matter what they do or how they do it. They will never ascend to heaven. They have been locked in the pits of hell forever. They do not like us. They hate us. They, they hate us with a, a strong energy. They cannot stand us because we can repent and go to heaven and they cannot. Okay. All they are trying to do is suck you into the pit that they are in. They want you to come down there because they bored. They lonely. They, they have no chance of going to heaven. Meanwhile, we have not only everlasting life through Christ, we have the opportunity, no matter what we do, to repent to God and be accepted by God and loved by God. The punishment that God would give us for us repenting of our sins is not close to the punishment that God gave them. Unless you wait until it's too late. And yeah, I feel like the message is, to someone who is doing this, someone who is practicing these things, someone who is um, taking out their time, effort, and energy to pray to these false gods, to someone who is really believing that they can sit there and carve out a sculpture and put life into it. it it's, it's sad. It's sad. It's crazy, honestly. And I feel like... um. God is just saying it, it makes you in a miserable state because you will be sitting there expecting this wood carving to give you your desires. And it's just simply not going to happen. It's not. It's not. And um, it can't give you God. It's just like they said, just like the scripture says, woe to him who says to wood, come to life or to a lifeless stone, wake up. Can it give guidance? 
It is covered with gold and silver and there is no breath in it. We cannot give anything breath unless a woman has a baby. And that's it. And that's a work of God. Like God has touched that the womb in order for the baby to come out and have life and have breath. And that's it. This like that. I feel like that is literally the message that God is saying. He is sick of it. And it, um, it is sad. I feel like it makes God sad to see his children even trying to do such things and really believing in these things. But, you know, it is what it is. God is like literally saying, how could you possibly like, I feel like God is really saying, like, how do you even think that it works that way? Just really sit and think about it. Really sit and think about it. You made this. How does it have life? You created this. What makes you think that it's working? The spirits that you are talking to are fallen angels and demons, and that's it. They are not going to do any good. Anything that they are going to seek out to do is going to be pure evil. And a lot of times when people are practicing this stuff, they send, they be trying to send stuff out and it don't do nothing but come back to them. And they think they in come back with somebody. And they really fighting with themselves. And, you know, it's really sad. And that's why I feel like God is saying miserable sometimes. Because when you practice that, you lock yourself in your own misery. And you can't get mad at nobody because you didn't did it to yourself. Okay? And that's the message. I don't know who this is for that needed to hear that. But that is the message from God. Okay? God is saying, think about it. Like, really think about it. Seriously, think about it. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.